Engines, horns, and clanging metal. These are all sounds you can expect to hear at the 10th Annual Farming Heritage Festival. June 20th began the weekend festival with a petting zoo, tractor parade, and afternoon of demos. All the 16, all the standard 16. Hold that if you really That's all of the 16 standard. We just, a bunch of old guys and young guys wanting to preserve the uh, history and the heritage of the old farming equipment. Rope making seemed to be a favorite of the kids as they crank the handle at the Dunnigan's booth. Where you going? One of the hottest tents this weekend was Don Baylor's welding booth. Considered a tool nut by fellow blacksmiths, Baylor spends his spare time making metal tools the old fashioned way. And I, I'm not a blacksmith by trade. Uh, this is fairly new to me, but it's just really enjoyable. With a variety of events and activities underway, there was one thing the festival was not short on, tractors. The weekend's featured tractor, the Minneapolis Moline, leads Friday's parade, which consists of nearly 40 different makes, models, and sizes. I'm Paul Hale. I have this bad habit of collecting old tractors. Paul Hale's Roomley Oil Pole and Orchard Tractor were must sees for the tractor fanatics. Several rare tractors were shown during the parade, but the rarest of all stayed protected under a tent all weekend. Tony Kozell, manager of Shawnee's John Deere dealership, debuted his 1957 John Deere 620 industrial tractor this weekend. It's actually even had an invitation to go to Moline, Illinois, to John Deere's worldwide headquarters at the Collector Center. Many ag students attended the event and were welcomed by the older generations to share in the festivities and family fun. One of the most things that I enjoy about the McLeod FFA kids and in the tractor show is the camaraderie between the generations and the knowledge that's passed between them. What it mainly is is a bunch of guys getting together and uh, trying to show the younger generation what we used to do when we were younger.